Welcome back to the Complex Entertainment Group, the channel where we discuss music, technology, business, and life. So this is going to be the first part of a series where I'm reviewing the Arteria FX Collection 4. Now this is a pretty huge bundle, which is why I've decided to break it up into different pieces. So this video specifically, I'm going to be reviewing the distortion part of the bundle. Distortion. So at the time of this video, Arteria's FX Collection 4 is currently retailing for $4.99. This gives you a curated selection of 30 creative audio effects. So again, since this, bottle, since this bundle is pretty large, what we're looking at this time right now is the distortion plugins. This includes the distortion code fire, the tube culture, and the op amp 21. Let's get into it. So we are back in good old Reaper. Loaded up a track with a few instruments in it. So I've added a bass part to the track using contact and bass synth so here's the bass right now without any distortion plugins on pull this up a little bit So what I'm looking for at this point is to try to get a gritty bass sound in this. Um, so let's kick this off starting with the Arteria Op Amp 21. I'm just going to scroll through some of the presets on this so you can kind of get an idea of what it's doing to the bass, how it kind of sits in, some of the different presets, or excuse me, presets and some of the controls on this thing. Um, you know, I really haven't use this one too much so this is really me exploring it with you guys um what i have used a little bit more is the cold fire but i'll save that for last so let's go So it's bringing a lot more character to the bass synth here. Let's see what some of the other presets sound like. So many that looks like a lot of the, not a lot, but a good deal of the presets are dedicated to like drum, at least for this distortion piece here. There's some pads and things in here. Um, rock, guitar, fatness. Sand Sam Classic, let's see what that sounds like. So I like this character section here. It gives you a few more options of like mic placement. Produces a warmer tube-like sound. So let's see if that does. Let's try it in modern mode. Ah. Just a little bit more. 
throttle in this case. Back on base. So the modes are more seemingly like applying, yeah, different EQ curves to it. A flat EQ, okay, yeah, a subtle EQ, vintage tone, mid and highs emphasized, and then low presence. Okay, okay, that's pretty cool. Op amp twenty one. All right, let's switch this now. I should disable that. Now let's take a look at the. Distortion tube culture. All right, let's see what this does. Give it some more drive. So we got an advanced feature down here. Let's see. Advanced. Did the other one have an advanced? Oh, it did. Okay, which gives me more of a um, control or a pre drive, left, right, mid side. Okay. Filter. 
so obviously here the distortion tube culture is more of a basic you know distortion i feel like this would be pretty good on like a guitar or something but the sound definitely seems more mono in comparison to the op amp 21 I'll do it this way. seems to be more like a mono sound. Just in the mids, not on the sides. There we go. Okay, not bad for both of those. I feel like for these two, I mean, I would probably, if I could remember to pull them out every now and then, I probably would. But what I have saved to my favorites already is this distortion cold fire. Let's check this out on just immediately when I put on the track. <laughs> Yeah, I like that, how that sounds. Just automatically, and this is just like the first preset. And it says drums ripper. Let's check, let's see what else is in here. Pre-filter, A and B. So two sets of filters or pre-filters on this. Uh, the tube. One and two, let's see here. Okay. So two different additional distortions that you can add to this and do them in serial or parallel. Stereo, mid side, and band split. So, on this band split, that means whatever the distortion type is on here. Assuming you, this one's on the left, this is on the right. Oh, nice.
So you can add modulation to this. Give us some movement. Trio for the Arteria FX Collection 4 Distortion part of the button. So, yeah, out of the three, my favorite is definitely the Coal Fire. But let me know what your thoughts are on this. Do you already have these plugins? What are some of the instruments that you've already used it on? I think I'm pretty sure you can throw this on like a, a drum, obviously the bass that I've done or guitars, uh, but feel free to share your thoughts. Make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll check you out in the next one. Peace. Complex.